How long ago was that epic beef with Jake Paul? That was like almost two years ago now, I okay. think. I or maybe was longer maybe than that. Maybe three years. Yeah, maybe three know. years. That was uh, that was something else, huh? Yeah, that was pretty wild. And, and, and now, <laughs> so just to, and to, now he could beat the shit out of me. I mean, he probably right. could back then too. <laughs> Right, like, uh, I mean, it wasn't anything terribly aggressive that you had done, right? Like, you just sort of made a reaction video to his rapping and called it cringy, and like, like, it, it, and it, so then he shows up, just bum rushes you on like some set that you were working on, and like yeah. really aggro, and like, ah, oh, come on, come on. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a joke, like the guy that right hit Jeff him up. Wittick. Yeah, he was like thought that he'd be kind of like in on the joke right and then he came in he like used it as an opportunity to like film it himself right and uh yeah the whole thing felt just really weird i was like really uncomfortable like afterwards i was like man i feel like i don't know what the fuck just happened right it I was think, really bizarre i think um, it read that, i think it read that way that like when you saw him you were like oh hey man i'm fucking cool dude like like you know you could tell that there was nothing like there's no real like malice or animosity on your part, right? Yeah. And, and he came with this crazy energy, um, and what what was most odd, I think, to me was that it was Jake himself who put out the video that just felt like awkward and weird. Yeah. And, and kind of like you you looked like uh, he kind of felt like he put out a video that made you look good. And yeah, him it was, look bad. I don't know. The whole situation was so so bizarre. Plus, yeah. I had a fresh cut. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a fresh haircut. I looked incredible. <laughs> <laughs> he accused you of being a bully. Yeah, cyberbully. Yeah, cyberbully. Yeah. Did that change your uh, your approach to to <laughs> I- internet bullying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started bullying in a different way after that. <laughs> I think, you know, I think like, you know, sometimes I go back and I watch those old videos, like that's cringes and stuff like that, that we used to do. The ones that he was pissed about. I mean, I don't even know if he was pissed at the one that we did about him. He probably was, but I go back and watch those. And sometimes I'm like, man, we did go really fucking hard, but it's like, it's a young dude thing. You know, mid twenties, you think you're the fucking man, can't do any wrong. And then you get to 30 and you're like, I just like, you know, I just want everybody to like me. Yeah. And it's just like, I just... I'm getting older now, and it's like neg- you know, as cliche as it sounds, it's like negativity doesn't really breed anything. Like the ceiling right. is pretty low. Well, so I like think- now it's like we we do, you know, we still are try to remain edgy, and like we're comedians, so we you know like to make fun of shit, but um, in a, a little bit of a lighter-hearted way, I guess. I yeah. don't know. It's called Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole. And if you go on Amazon and type in Stevo's Hot Sauce for Your Butthole, and Order yourself a bottle. You'd be really helping me because right now we're ranked number 30 on all of Amazon. And if you buy a bottle, we might go up the ladder and that would mean a lot. So please get on Amazon and buy Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. Yeah. Yeah, dude.